just to get us kicked off before I do the demo, I kind of wanted to show what the target of this um, experience is supposed to be. So, um, you know, we're working for uh, enterprises where they want to scale out their, their AI portfolio massively. And so if you look at this screen here, this is an example of that. For example, you might have security or IT or um, DevOps, all these different types of AI running in your company. You want all these AI to be running on the same track, um, basically compatible with each other, um, and it's so that all of your AI is kind of consolidated into, into kind of one infrastructure. So this is an example of all of these. Uh, the one that we're going to go into is this customer support agent. So to do that, uh, you would first visit our open source repository. Uh, this is the one that's going to be available to you on the, on the time of launch. Um, and you can see here instructions in the readme on how to, how to do what I'm, I'm about to show you. So um, to get these set up, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Here I have this repository cloned uh, locally. Um, what I'm going to do here, very simply, is go to the UI package and just run that. Once that UI is running, you can see here um, running on port 3000. I can go to my uh, browser, type localhost 3000 here, and then you'll see the, the uh, UI pop up. In this case, for this demo, we're going to show the customer support agent. Um, so if I go to my uh, other project, um, this is a, a project that we're going to be uh, spinning up. Um, to show you how you would get started if you were to go on a blank, blank slate, though, um, let's go into this agent rep uh, repository and basically set that up. So here I'm just running this initialization command on our CLI. Uh, I'm going to go and set up one of these. Uh, this is in our documentation if you're curious on what these mean. But I'm going to set up a simple one, which is our sync um, agent. Um, I would like to create my project in this agent's directory, as you can see here on the left. And then I'll call it a name. In this example, I will just call it demo, because that's what we're doing right now. And I'll make the project folder name demo as well. Um, for demonstration purposes, this is just to fill out the description. Um, and then I'll use the UV for package management. Here is a, a, basically a, a list of different things that uh, give you some more information about what you would need to do after. But uh, I just want to show you what happened in the screen here. So first, I'm going to go to the demo uh, folder. You can see it's set up here on, on the left. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go into it on my screen. And all I have to do is run agentix agents run um, and run this command. Okay, and once I see here, it's going to say application startup complete. I go here, refresh my screen, view all the agents, and you can see this new agent pop up. In this case, this agent does something very simple. It's just going to say hi back to me. Um, but we're going to want to see something more interesting. So all we have to do is go to this customer support agent. Um, this is an example with like a lot more uh, you know, meat to the bone. And we're going to ask it a question. Let's say, hi, I'm having trouble uh, with my delivery. It seems delayed. Oops, sorry. This is not the right thing running. Let me go back and click on this one. Uh, kill this repository and go back to the other agent. Here's my customer support agent, and I'm going to run the command in there. See how easy it is for us to switch between different agents? All I have to do is go to the other folder, kill the other agent that was running, um, and, and view this one. So now I can talk to this one freely. Hi, I'm having trouble with my MacBook delivery. It is delayed. So now the agent is thinking through its different steps. And you can see here, there's different data that, is, uh, that it's retrieving, uh, mock data from different customers, a set of prompts that I've preconditioned, and also a set of tools. It can look up customer information, it can check service issues, um, and it can generate retention offers. Right? Um, and so in this case, it's asking for the customer in question. So I'm going to go ahead and type my email. This is a fake email, sarah.johnson at email.com. And it's going to go through all these different steps. Now, if we look at what's happening behind the scenes here, um, it's looking at different tools. It's it's you know taking in different user messages. It's you know being able to like write different code here. Um, now all of this stuff is pretty hard in practice to be able to do. Um, you know you ha if you want all of your agents to follow the same consistent formatting, uh, you're going to spend a lot of your time each individual one of these teams building completely bespoke stuff. So this is a way for us to kind of unify that experience. Um, and in a second, we'll talk about how this is this is very useful for enterprises.